Thank you, Karen. An honor to be here among this August body. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing, uh, just came back from uh, Taiwan covering the elections, courtesy of Steve Bannon and, and Brandon Howes, uh, and it went well. It went well, but uh, I'm not sure about the rest of the year here, so watch out. Um, but um, the, uh, this is 1938. That's what's going on right now. And, and as the speakers have said, uh, you know, that, that's what's Ukraine. Putin offered to take the Ukraine and follow 21 under the no, no boundaries, no limits partnership. We got this. We'll take it in 72 hours. Why 72 hours? Because the American intelligence community kept on saying they're going to take Ukraine in 72 hours. So uh, Desert Storm was their model. OK, if they had been able to reinforce Hostomel Airport to the left of uh, Kiev, uh, history might have been different. Two years later, here we are. But that, you know, it, as, as China divided up the world uh, for their subcontractors, Russia's job was to uh, take uh, take Europe. And uh, there's going to be more about that. But then you got Iran. Uh, Hamas, that was a year-long planning effort. That was China. That was China. So uh, October 7th just didn't come out of nowhere. And uh, if you looked at the operations orders off of the dead Hamas terrorists, that was Iran mimicking American plans and procedures, and uh, that's what that was all about here. But it gets even better. You got the, the, the greatest assault on merchant shipping since the Second World War going on right now. Uh, you got the Ruby Mar. I think it, I don't know if the Ruby Mar is still afloat right now. It was, uh, it was as of this morning, but we have 40-plus ships attacked. Three ships are actually captured and turned, and the crews and turned. <laughs> I mean, what do you call this here? And we're just chewing up our ordinance. That's part of the plan. You know, we got a perfect batting record so far. Uh, the U.S. Navy's done an incredible job hitting everything, but eventually there's going to be a leaker, and it's not going to turn out well. So wa watch out. Um, but now they're attacking our base camps. This is Iran, again, as a subcontractor, as a proxy, trying to push us out of the Middle East. Now we've revealed you know, Trump got us out of those base camps. We did our job. We, we got uh, um, uh, Soleimani, we got Baghdadi, uh, we, got, we got ISIS, actually. We got ISIS, Baghdadi, and then Soleimani. Uh, and, and that's the way America First military power projection will work. We'll project, we'll do our job, and then we'll return. It's the nanosecond you put down a footprint, it's over and you become a forever war. What did Biden do as soon as, uh, as, soon as he got into office? He reopened all these base camps. Now Tower 22 is revealed. There's other, essentially most of our base camps have now been revealed uh, in the Middle East. Why are we, why do we even have them there? There's no purpose for them for that, other than to attrit our resources and uh, in this forever war. But uh, uh, what, what back, to the, back to the European sector, which is the Russians' job, watch Kaliningrad. You're gonna see probably a push toward Kaliningrad, that sacred Russian territory that they've occupied since the end of the Second World War but also watch these poor Baltic states here. So that's that's what's going on here. And I, and I apologize, I gave a handout. I didn't have enough for everybody. Budget cuts, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you, you got it, but I gave out a number out there. So you got them, just watch your friend. Uh, at the bottom of page one also, yeah, we've talked about America. G uh, Venezuela moving on Guyana. That's all, that's China, that's China. Venezuela is a Disneyland for China right now. Who, who it's a Moss Eisley spaceport of bad activity. I spent fall, I spent some time down in uh, Panama with uh, Michael Yan and Ann Vandersteel watching the Chinese and understanding. Look at the Panama Canal is draining at an absolutely exorbitant rate. Maybe there's some weather conditions. Maybe some, there's some cyber penetration of the canal, the new canal locks and uh, uh, the loss of water is being accelerated. 18 ships, a, 18 ships a day is all they can pass. Uh, that's ridiculous, uh, but that's China. It's China, base camps in uh, Cuba, China. Not only now spy base, and when Tony Blinken got his name, uh, he went over to China in the groveling tour and, and got pantsed and swirlied and everything else there by Xi. Uh, you know, what did they, they announce on his flight home? Guess what? 
military training. Guess what? That probably means missiles back in Cuba right now. What is the U.S. government doing about it? What is the IC, do, IC intelligence community doing about it? Nothing. Our open southern border, those are Chinese special operators. They are Chinese special operators inside. They, they don't have access to guns back in China, but what do they immediately go to the ranges right here in America? Also, if you're a cannabis user, I don't personally agree with that, why do they gravitate toward the cannabis operations? Why? Those are high, high cash operations they can skim and use for funding. It's called walking around money to cause for influence operations. That walking around money in these high cash operations, that's deadly. And that's in, in, on a top of fentanyl. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't serve two masters here. Cannabis is a bad idea. High cash operation, can't bank it. Why are the Chinese special operators going to the cannabis, cannabis operation? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy here. On the back side, we, uh, on the back side, we uh, uh, went over some of the courses of action at the Committee on Present Danger in, in uh, January. And you got basic, she has basically six courses of action at this point in time. You do a hard invasion, that's full-throated Normandy-style invasion. You do a soft invasion. That's you peel off a couple of the forward counties of Taiwan. Uh, you got Kinmen and Matsu. Uh, I just have a gateway article that gate went into that in, uh, 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 in detail. You do an envelopment. Uh, you do an envelopment where it's kind of a blockade, uh, but you right now they're essentially flying high altitude, high endurance drones, which can be armed regularly around uh, Taiwan. So they could turn this into a hard blockade at any time. Uh, they want to. You can do a bypass. I've been worried about this here. Just why, why invade Taiwan when you can go by northern Luzon in the Philippines? Everybody in, in the Philippines, they're, they're down in Manila doing karaoke or, or musical chairs, which, <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, you've got that, uh, my good Filipino friends. That, those are the national pastimes. It's relatively undefended right now. Relatively undefended. Or go all the way down to the Solomon Islands. Uh, or you can uh, you know, uh, do nothing. I don't think that's a course of action. Or you can continue the world arson campaign. And on the bottom there, we did, uh, we did, we went through a number of the courses of action. I think things have changed from the time we went through this in January, because as I did the weighted scale here, and this was just theoretical here, the different courses of action graded a, on a negative two to a plus two. What could possibly happen? What is the most likely courses of action? If you looked at the numeric. The envelope and the bypass kind of had the highest scores, but as I've watched what's play out here uh, since I came back from Taiwan covering the elections, um, the soft invasion kind of uh, now I think is starting to look more appealing. A soft invasion is when you go after kinmen, which is only about four thousand. The, 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 uh, you got a small islet of kinmen minor which is only about 4,000 feet off the shore. They could, the Chinese could fall down and be across on Kinmen in nothing flat. You have air, air traffic control procedures uh, that have just been changed after the election didn't go in Taiwan the way they wanted them. Uh, this is very bad, this is very nefarious. Uh, and, and they've pushed the southbound route, it's M503, right up to the center line, which they say doesn't exist anymore. Okay, this is, this is uh, absolute coercion, and even by ICAO, International Civil uh, Aircraft Organization, a UN adjunct that actually kind of works well, kind of. Uh, they're supposed, they were supposed to get Taiwan's blessing in this, but per ICAO rules. I'm going back to Taiwan in September here because we're gonna talk about, as a, as a reporter, because we're gonna talk about possible U, uh, Taiwan re-entry into the UN. But I'm, I'm worried about Kinmen. I'm worried about Kinmen and Matsu and leveraging those, those radically changed air, uh, uh, routes that now have two hard right turns. All you gotta do is be southbound in M503, do a hard right turn as if you're going, a Chinese airliner as if you're going to the mainland uh, by Kinmen or Matsu. You immediately declare an in-flight emergency put the aircraft down on, let's say, Kinmen Airport. Kinmen only has one airport. 
Um, and then you, and then out pop 200 Chinese special operators. Plus, you have a bunch of Chinese fast boats that just came across that 4,000 feet, and they're on Kinmen. I'm now thinking they're worried about that because doing a hard invasion is hard. That's a Normandy style. They got to do something by April. That's when the storm season hits. And then April through October is the storm season. They got to have something by then. She has to have something by then. Now, because he doesn't want to deal with Hurricane T or Trump in November, okay? <laughs> so this is, this is a grave concern, is a lightning raid on Kinman. Now, it was just announced a couple of days ago. Guess what? We do have base camps on, uh, on uh, uh, U.S. We have permanent base camps, special operators, Kinman, Pangu, and Taiwan. So now we do have permanent base, military base camps on the ground in Taiwan. So... Yeah, we're done. Okay. <laughs>